reactions to this. I know people kind of like my reactions to these things because, uh, I mean, I, I basically just say what I'm thinking. Uh, so again, they changed some stuff to the Skull Merchant. Uh, we had a little uh, skim through it. Um, they're making it so the drone deployed um, will be placed faster, three seconds from four. Uh, the re what is it? What else were they doing? Was it too active? Um, and then ten seconds from this as well. So it's a bit. Uh, no, you can place more drones, can't you? You can place more drones, um, and then the cooldown to get them back is 10 seconds, right? So that's that, That's going to be really good to getting the uh, the free gens up even faster. Still, this is all just creating free gen, four gen scenarios. Um, and then this is what we got to. Um, thank you, Maniac, for the gifted sub, man. So let's see... Uh, as a killer staying inside the active drone's radius for three seconds uh, would grant you undetectable status effect, allowing to ambush survivors. This would create some awkward moments where you'd be standing around waiting for the effect to kick in. So we're reducing this to two seconds. Again, it'll work in some places, but a lot of your loops, DBD, I, I don't know if you know this, and I'll, uh, I'll let you in on a secret. A lot of your loops, the survivors can see the killer at. A lot of, quite a lot of them. I would say maybe 90%. So, you being undetectable. <laughs> you being undetectable. Um, I don't think it'll change too much if they can just see you. Um, but I, I guess you do get rid of the red glow. So, yeah. yeah. It's something, right? Uh for survivors spending too long in the active zone can be dangerous. Active drones will lock on survivors in the radius, making them exposed. We know that, yeah. However, the short duration could make it difficult for the killer to react unless they were already chasing the survivors. So we made a few changes to the lock-on mechanic uh, uh, for release. The lock-on duration has been increased to 60 seconds, was 30. I'm, I like that they're saying, to this was this. They need to do that every time. They, they just pick and choose when they do it. It's really weird. Um... So the duration is 60 seconds, um, not 30. And I'm, I'm assuming lock-on means they're exposed, correct, guys? When the, when it's... Um, when they're locked on, they're exposed. Is that, am I correct? So they're exposed for 60 seconds, not 30. One patch later. <laughs> uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Blame. Exposed for 60, okay. Uh, an incomplete lock-on will stay, uh, start to decay after 10 seconds of exiting the active zone, almost 5, right? Uh, entering an active zone while locked on will reset your lock-on to 60 seconds to, uh, and prevent it from decaying until you leave the zone. Interesting, okay. Uh, and the Skull Merchant can now see survivors lock-on progress in order to- Oh, fine! Oh, you're giving, you're giving the killers some fucking information? Wow. Wow, where should the the killer who's <laughs> got like a, a, a like what is it a tracker and is all about the technology? They actually know if if the uh, the survivors are almost locked on. Wow, how crazy! <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Okay, that that's good. So you can at least see uh, when people are close. So it's it's almost a bit like um, juggling with uh, Myers or uh, or Ghostface in a sense. Uh, but doing doing it differently, but that's yeah. Why weren't that a thing? So that's that's a good change. That will they keep it? Who knows? Because um, they might go. Oh, we overtuned her. Uh, besides locking on, the drones uh, are also a powerful tool for tracking survivors in the PTB. We found it to be a little difficult to fully take advantage of the eyes in the sky. Uh, so we made some changes in that department as well. So the tro uh, the claw trap battery life has been increased to forty five seconds, was twenty five, allowing the killer to trap survivors for longer. Uh, the overcharge add-on has been adjusted accordingly. So the overcharge will be nerfed, but given at base, it probably doesn't really matter that much. Survivors will no longer receive an indicator when their location is revealed by the Skull Merchant Scanner. Yeah, that was insane. I mean, again, this doesn't really mean anything anyway. It really doesn't. But... Dude, they were so weird, man. They were so weird. Yeah, that's a good change. Like, why was it telling them when they were getting scanned? It's fucking odd. Um, the whole point of it is, which is this, 
ma like mastermind. No, we're not, we're not really mastermind, but she's supposed to be like the hunter, right? And you're the prey. You're not supposed to know when she's coming for you. It's it's supposed to be tactical. Fucking odd. Uh, the skull merchant will move faster when uh, checking a radar. Now 4.4 was four. Fucking hell. Okay. So she goes down to 110. Um, percent That's good. Um, sound effects have been updated to provide a clear notification when a survivor has been tracked. Okay. Uh, can you see these? Oh, you can't even see these down here. Oops. There we go. You can almost see it. Uh, I just read, it, I read this. this. Uh, with all this in mind, survivors will uh, want to be much more wary when they come face to face with a school merchant to ensure that, uh, that this doesn't make her too confusing to play against. I know, like, uh, too confusing to play against? What's confusing? She puts drones out, they expose you, you grab the thing, and then she can track you. And that's it. <sighs> and they do this. I've told you they do this, man. Too frustrating to play against. Do they ever say something frustrating for Killer? We're taking some additional considerations to accompany... Oh, you did that wrong. I think it's space. <laughs> that would have been good, though. Um, we're dead, blah, 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 uh, but be warned, there's risk involved. Approaching a drone with a claw trap will no longer cause it to enter an unhackable state, preventing survivors to, uh, from interacting with it. Survivors with claw trap can now disable drones... But well, keep in mind that entering a drone's range will cause it to, to uh, will cause it to activate and recharge your battery, tr uh, your trap's battery. Survivors who fail a hack will now be immediately locked on. Wait, is this like a huge nerf? So before, like I, I didn't play a Lord's Lord, so you need to kind of tell me. Before, they. When they had the trap on, so when they, when they deactivated a drone, they had the, the trap on. And then all the other drones around, they won't be able to touch until they took this off to then grab that and then rinse repeat, correct? But now someone can just be the designated person just going around grabbing them all all the time? What? Isn't that a huge nerf? That person will be exposed. Don't matter. There's safe loops everywhere. She's a mouse one, guys. She's a mouse one killer. If you're good at looping, you just designate that person. I don't know why they've done that. That doesn't make any sense. They were, they were doing so well with this. They were doing so well, and then they did this. Which no one asked for. No one asked for this. I guess we'll see. It looks, it looks like it could be like, it could make her worse. I guess we'll see. But they, they've they've put a a spanner in the works with this, so we need to test it to see how it works. I guess. Uh, uh, whether her drones are locking onto survivors or she's tracking uh, their every move, we hope we'll find these changes. Uh, make the skull merchant much bigger threat than she releases. They have some good stuff. You know, like, um, you can see the lock on progress. Obvious. Obvious that should be a thing. Longer expose. 60 seconds. Good. Um, they can't see it. Um, they can't see it when you're scanning them. Good. You might be able to use some stealth perks here and there. Or some stealth add-ons. Good. But then, then all of a sudden, oh, but one survivor... Can just run around getting all the drones while the other three rush gens. It's not the biggest thing though, so we'll have to see. But I just don't understand. Just, just, just have just. <laughs> Are you serious?
They are. Um, just have buffs. Just have buffs. People were saying she's one of the weakest killers. Just have buffs. You don't need to have nerfs. Just, just have buffs. And then if it's too overwhelming, then you can start thinking about this. But whatever. It is whatever. Uh, I perk. So eruption uh, was even uh, said to be too much of an overkill from like survivors. So they are safe to do something with this. So let's see. Um, ah, okay. 10% of the total progress. Okay. Okay, that's still all right. It's it's obviously not as good as what it is, but that's 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 not as bad. Um So instead of it being the current, it's the total. That that gives me high hopes that they're not going to hit loads of other perks with uh with current. I wonder if they were thinking of doing it. Let's see what they say though. During the PSV, a rush was changed uh, to long, uh, no longer make survivors uh, class aid, and its regression was changed from total to current progress, while the removal of the status effect worked exactly as we'd hoped. How would it not? What do you mean? Um, the shift to current progress uh, proved to be a little too far. Yeah, are you going to get a fucking pop back to normal now? After realizing that current progress is really bad? Um... But whatever. 10%. So what's that? Nine seconds now. Nine seconds of all gens. It's still not even like that much. It just gives you an idea of like how bad it was. Like they were literally pushing it to like four or five seconds. Taking off a gen. What do you think, guys? 10%? Is 10% worth it? Nope. <laughs> uh, Tiny, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. Um, it's still a massive fucking hit, man. But at least it's not a fucking insult now, right? At least they're not insulting uh, killer players. Um, God, what an insult it was. T fucking 10% of current progress. I, I, I really don't understand how people are insulted by that shit. Like, why is it just me? Why is it just me? As a content creator. Like, were the other content creators insulted by it? Like, I actually find it like an insult. <laughs> Jolt is eight, yes. Jolt is eight, but you don't need to kick loads of gens, and it instantly explodes as you're downing someone. So it's a lot more, it's a lot quicker. A lot of viewers, and there are more survivor players in this game. Yeah, it is a way to get more viewers, 100%. Um, I mean, you could see, like, all the up-and-coming streamers are all just survivor mains, aren't they? Or massively pro-survivor. Uh, I, I, I mean, the pattern's piss easy to see in DVD, uh, how it works. Anyway, whatever. Um, Fwack, uh, beyond being a fun name to say, uh, Fwack causes survivors to scream and reveal the aura. Yep, but shit. Uh, the perk requires the killer uh, requires the killer to hook a survivor in order to, activate, uh, to avoid any unneeded pressure for the killer to seek out and break a pallet wall. We've removed a ti it had a timer. Uh, Frack will now remain active indefinitely upon hooking a survivor and deactivate upon use. Okay, that's a bit better. Couldn't even remember. That's a bit better. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a shitter version of uh, uh, nowhere to hide. Maybe it has a big radius, though. I can't remember. Because uh, they're not saying what it's come from. They've stopped doing it now. Uh, background player. This perk uh, for Renato Lyra uh, caused him to break into a sprint upon unhooking, uh, unhooking the survivor. Many pointed out that uh, this left the unhooked survivor alone at a hook, making them easy prey for the killer. Background player is receiving a re... Oh, no. Watch out for that one. The devs are... The devs are... Oh my god, scared, man. Billa, who are you talking about? 
<laughs> I don't think they lied. They, they say it's going to get reworked. Um, but what we're, we're going to say... Yeah, w watch out for this one, guys. Watch out for this one. They, they're reworking it. And they're putting it straight into release without any PTB. And it's called Background Player. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. It's going to say it now, right? Oh, never mind. Right? Uh, I thought I thought they weren't going to say it. Never mind. Ignore what I said. So this perk now activates when the killer picks up a, uh, another survivor. Uh, and the duration of its sprint has been reduced to four seconds with six. Interesting. You know what that's for, don't you guys? You straight away know what that shit's for. Oh, that's gutted, is it? Or is that not the perfect, perfect perk for flashlight save builds? Or Sabo builds? You're definitely going to see this. I, I don't know if it'll be meta, because it's just too many amazing survivor perks, but people are definitely going to fuck with this with flashlights and Sabo. However you choose to use this speed is up to you. I'm going to do this. It'll go on to DVD, probably. But, like... You, you, you know how they're going to use it. What are you on about? Get into position for a save. Get closer to the hook for a rescue. Or simply get away as fast as possible. Yes. Yes, because... When the killer picks a survivor up, I need to run really far away fast. Like what? What are you on about? You know you've done. You know what you've done it for. Uh, to all the Thomas chapter, blah blah blah. Okay, so recap: some good changes to her. Definitely good changes. She, she's going to be a lot better than people think. This character, by the way, she's going to be very boring to go against. She will be free to four gen. They haven't changed that. She will be free to four gen. So she'll be really boring to go against. But I, I really do see she she could be quite a strong one. In three to four gens. Um, because the design is just that. Um, and because the game's all about uh, going for kills as well and, and not going for multiple chases, etc., uh, it's pushing her to play this kind of create dead zone uh, and have Jerons around dead zone play. Um, but yes, yeah, some good changes to her and then some weird nerf, which we need to see what the impact of that'll <laughs> what the impact of that'll be. Um, Eruption. I mean, now it kind of shows you how much of a fucking insult eruption were. The, the nerf to it. Like, it's gone from 40% regression, right? Pretty much 40% regression, if not more, if they need to go back to the gen to, to touch it. Not only to, on top of that, they can't heal. So they can't heal and they can't do a gen for like, you know, X amount of time. Um, it went to 10% of current. And on average, let's say they're at 50% of a gen, 10% would be 4.5 seconds regression. So they've gone from... That was that one. And this one now is 9 seconds. So even with this one... Let's, let's do the, the insult one. And this one is as much of an insult. But the other one was like massive insult. And I felt... Uh, I, I'm Again, we... Weird that people were insulted by it. I was. Um, that's why I said it was dead. Um, they've gone from... Like, what would I say? 40 seconds of regression to 4.5. Just to give you an idea of how much an insult the the change, the little, the little nerf to eruption was. Uh, now they've gone from 40 seconds to 9. Still kind of bad. Not as bad. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, Thwack. Yep. I don't know why I had a timer. Uh, still probably... We'll have to see. It could be quite good for maybe Huntress and stuff. I don't know. I guess we'll see. There's only so many perk slots you can have. Um, and then this thing is going to be uh, used in builds for flashlight saves and Sabo play. Uh, there you go. That's uh, the little 
well, my kind of understanding of the patch notes and giving you my opinion of it, uh, 